Here is a poem called, Will the Rock Be a Bridge? Or Sandy Jones. I must say, I'm not neither the cheerleader of the Iron Man, the Smith, nor the wise man whose house is on the rock. So that when the smitings blow, the house still stands. I too, the storyteller, I try my utterances to be bound by the same conditions that my story tries to trumpet. It is my prayer that my pain won't crash under the rubbles of everyday growing rocks and stones or the beatings from the many smiths emerging workshops. But my pain, a terror of accusation or a power of exaggeration as whose transgression between the rock or the smith are beyond a recompense into world wars that I won't paint. But if I must confess, if I was a sister to the Smith, and I was under the oath from the pit to lift out nothing but the truth, the banner of truth I would have lifted would have been the Smith was in defense of his territory. But maybe the smiting was too strong for the rock. The rock might be a wrestling nurse to the opened former or the now invisible cracks. But let the rock's eyes open wide to the fact that cracking jokes that cracks one cornerstone of femininity, there my pain around the bare truth won't dribble. That's an obvious crack to humanity. But so does masculinity miss the opportunity to be accountable, a clear porosity to what forms the bedrock of dignity. Hence, profundity shout louder that in men's world, their men alone is a lion, not a weapon unto a backbone of a woman. In men's world, hair is just a man, but to a woman, it's a glow of her femininity. Unless a woman mentions about her hair shed, jokes about it put aside. So both the smith and the rock for a generation to come, a smack or a joke that rattles femininity, that's definite incongruity to the world of men, where their man is a stretch, a covering to a mother, a sister, or a wife of a brother, let alone a wife of a neighbor. So on the rock, let forgiveness stand. The smith, next time be a hammer to the uttered, not the actor. For that would be a noble handover of a baton of audacity in the midst of injustice, integrity, honesty, and humility in adversity for the rising stars and a generation after you who are in need of real foundations of both clubs and clips, faith and fence, steps and slips, cheers and jeers, well done, or we are done here. That's a downgrade. But no more making up. They want to see a bounce back after I mess up. The young are in quest of a real man whose life is a bit of both. Petals and thorns, but still a radiance of garden of rose flowers. A towering leadership, yet a tapestry of struggles and successes. For that's what life is all about. Paddles today, paddles tomorrow, successes the other day. Let's face it and not fake it. So when the floodlights fade, the rock and the smith, let your light be a lamp to a generation that is not only seeking fame, a name, or man, but a man who is a lion to what separates. A lamp to a brother. Together they desire to leave a legacy that is brighter because they have turned off their egos above the thunders of crucify him. They choose to be egos. The log in the brother's eye, they turn it into a speckle so that both the unseen or the unseen medals on their necks still sparkle. That is after the dust has settled. My name is Gertrude Gifty Katsua. I am a storyteller who tells the stories through poetry.
to touch lives and change communities. My reflection in this poem is, will the rock be the podium for the Smith's next award? Will the Smith move the sword into pruning hook to bring down a fruit, that fruit that is on top of that highest tree, the fruit of the ever needed forgiveness of a brother at world stage, where a brother still fights another brother a sister put knives into a bag of a sister. A mother put black eyes to the rod of success of her daughter. Will the smith beat the sword against himself or the brother into a sickle to get that right food for us all? The most craved food of this season, which is being peaceful in the dreadful life situation. Saving reconciliation to the hand that saved affliction and pain first. Thank you.